have arrived at lovely Fair Oaks for my weekly residency. As I scan around, see the beginning of field one, my golf cart, and the cottage behind it. This is my world on Sunday. This is the beautiful old estate house at Fair Oaks. And the front yard. Look at the big old trees, gorgeous. Is it any wonder that I love this place so much? You can see the edge of the pond and the beautiful long lane that takes you to the estate house. Today I'm going to paint this scene. It's one I admire, the two trees, the field beyond. I'm starting my painting. You can see I put in the outline of my scene. And here's my paint box. So I've begun the day's painting. Here's the scene in front of me. So here is my painting partially done. And I will take it up to the upstairs studio here at Fair Oaks to continue with it. And this is my scene. Here comes Bradley on the mower to say hello. from the other direction, headed towards the old house. Hard to hold it. Here we have the pavilion area of the farm with the shady hammock to relax in. Lots of big old trees. Gorgeous flowers. Look at those roses. And now we have the shady and beautiful pavilion where we all like to relax. There's some more beautiful flowers. Big table for having lunch or a workshop. And here's the beautiful pond. The pond is stocked with albino catfish and brim. Isn't it beautiful? There's a fountain in it that runs sometimes. And on the far side is that lovely little deck with two chairs, nice table. I like to sit there in the evening and watch the kingfisher try to catch his dinner. There's a nice gas grill for cooking, a couple of swings and even a sink to wash up. This is heavenly. What a view. Now I have a view of the lovely old house. Up on the second floor is a beautiful art studio donated to artists who come here to paint. Here's some of the big trees in the yard. Show you a view in that direction are the citruses, a beautiful grove of 
all kinds of orange trees, lemons, tangerines, and grapefruit. This is a view of the parking area. Now I'm heading for the backyard. This is where the cottages and the workshops are located. And here's the old smokehouse. It's an original building, built long ago. This is a little shed. This is our cottage that we eat lunch in every week. This is one of my Fair Oaks Ferry Houses that I put in about a year ago. This is the door to the workshop where the boys keep the equipment for the farm. Equipment it takes a lot of work to run a place this big. It's 160 acres. This is the golf cart parking garage. This is the field behind the cottages. As you can see in the summer, the fields are tall with grasses. This is an overlook view of the big pond. And often the big pond serves as a dry prairie. Look at these beautiful, huge oak trees. What a beautiful place Fair Oaks is. In the summer, Fair Oaks is like a jungle. The grasses are tall. The weeds are plentiful, and I wish you could smell what I smell. It smells green. I often paint in this part of the farm. The big trees, the tall grasses are just gorgeous. Everywhere you look, there's a painting. A favorite view behind these big trees is the dry pond. Sometimes it's full and when it's full the lotus blossoms bloom in the summer and you can see all kinds of beautiful waterfowl. This is a better view of the pond. It's quite large as you can see. Right now it's just green marsh but when it's full of water, it's quite beautiful. This is one of my favorite trees at Fair Oaks. I call it Faye's Bald Cypress. It was planted by one of the owners in the past named Faye Miles. And lightning struck the top of the tree, killing the top portion. It's quite an interesting tree, and I've painted it many times. Here's another great view of some of the beautiful trees at Fair Oaks. This is the beginning of Sebastian Solsky's trail. Sebastian is a good friend. He worked at the farm at one time and he built this trail by himself. It's one of my favorite places at Fair Oaks. It leads out to Fish Prairie where I have spent many happy hours painting. In the summer, it's hard to get into and the mosquitoes are a problem. So I usually stay out during the summer. Here we are in Holy Ground Field. This is one of my favorite fields at Fair Oaks. It's lovely with these big palm hammocks. It looks like a scene from the past. This is the Florida I remember as a child. Here we are close to some of the giant palms that grow at Fair Oaks. They're so beautiful. And you see them everywhere here, hidden in among the oak trees, out in the fields. They're just beautiful. Sorry for the bumps. This is a special place for me which I call the secret garden. The secret garden hides this beautiful tree that split and fell years ago and now it's formed other trees. 
they're just growing right out of that trunk, straight up. So it's quite interesting. And I love the way the backlight shows through the tree. Here it is close up. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. Nature is amazing. You can see the other part over here. Harder to see the original trunk. Here is the view from the back side of Holy Ground Field. And this stand of trees here often hides deer. I see them a lot, especially early in the morning and at dusk. I really enjoy painting these wildflowers in the fields every year. This year particularly I've focused a lot of paintings on the fields. One of the things I love most about fair oaks are the natural portals or windows from field to field between tree masses. I'm just fascinated with Here we are back in the deep woods, the forest part of the, the state. I love it here. It's beautiful, dark, mysterious, many paths, natural fairy houses among the roots of the trees. Gorgeous. Here you can see a nice fairy house at the root of this big tree. This is Magical Field 3, one of my favorite, favorite places at Fair Oaks. Not only for the beautiful big oak trees, but in the wintertime, these weeds get waist high if they're not mowed, and they turn silver, purpley, blue. Just a beautiful color. This small field has this beautiful big pine tree sitting right out in the middle all by itself. You can see the dog fennel growing high, high, high out into this the field. This is another portal from one field to another. I'm quite fond of this one. Now we've arrived in field two. Look how pretty it is in all of its summer glory. I love this view up the hill of this big old tree. Here's another view of the pretty pavilion next to the little pond. And as I scan around, you'll see the bathhouse and the beehive. Close up, you can see the bees on the outside of the hive. And then here's the bathhouse. Here we are in beautiful field one, where I was painting earlier today. This is one of the prettiest fields here at Fair Oaks with gigantic trees scattered around. You can see it's quite a large field with lots of pretty scenery to paint. It's one of my favorite scenes here. It's another portal from one field to another. It's about time I came up here and painted this again. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? going into Collins Field. This is the newest part of the estate. Gorgeous field. There's a beautiful called the Serenity Oak that lives here. See that huge green mushroom right about here. Here's a closer look at the Serenity Oak. When you come close to it, you can see the skeletal trunk part of the tree. It's always a nice vista of the neighboring farm over the fence. You can see quite a long way. Sorry for the box. And now you get a nice 360 view of Collins Field. It's always a nice vista of the neighboring farm over the fence. You can see quite a long way. Sorry for the box. Nice 360 view of Collins Field. 